Are you thinking about a Tab 400 and you're concerned that the refrigerator is a two-way refrigerator and the two ways mean shore power or battery and there's no propane? And you're wondering, just how long will my battery last if I have to run my refrigerator on it? Well, we're going to find out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everybody. So I'm in Carl, our Tab 400, and I'm going to run a test because a couple of you have left comments on some of our other videos with concerns about the refrigerator uh, running on battery and that it's going to drain the battery. Now, just to let everybody know, the Tab 400 comes with a 235 amp hour AGM battery. And my understanding is starting in uh, May of 2018, which is right now when I'm filming, they're actually switching that out to two six volts, but again, um, with over 200 amp hours. So with this particular refrigerator, it is a two way. It does not utilize propane at all. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the refrigerator. I'm going to try to do more research, but my understanding is uh, it's totally different than the other refrigerators that they put in the two and the three ways uh, that are typically in travel trailers. And this one's designed to be much more efficient on battery. So I'm going to run a test. Uh, I have the battery fully charged and you can see here from the reading on our meter that it is fully charged. It is approximately five o'clock in the evening and we're just going to see what happens to the battery over the next few days. So I will come out every evening at around five o'clock and we'll take a reading and see where it's at. Now I'm not going to run really anything else with the trailer at this point meaning i'm not going to leave lights on i'm not going to turn the fan on um, right now i just want to see what happens to the battery and how long we could go running the refrigerator on battery the only other draws that we're going to have there's going to be a little bit of a draw from the uh, converter and the tv is uh, plugged into the battery and without actually um unplugging it I think is the only way so there might be a little draw there same way with through the radio but the draw normally is very minimal on the battery but we're going to run that refrigerator and let's just see what happens over the next two or three days and it should give us a good idea about can we boondock on battery okay we're just a little over one day in actually 13 and a half hours it's 6 30 i got in here late tonight to check it and it was a 87 88 percent um 12.7 volts so still have a lot of battery left because with remember with these agm batteries you can actually technically um safely discharge them 80 percent down to where you only have 20 percent battery left now i probably won't ever go that far um but we are like i said 13 and a half hours in so okay Let's wait one more day and see where we're at. Okay, it's been 48 hours or just a little over 48 hours. It's just about 540. So we started this on Sunday night. It is now Tuesday night. We're 48 hours in and you can see we still have 73% battery left, 12.4 um, volts. And again, the only thing that's been running is whatever the normal draw would be from the um converter and you know things like the radio or the tv whatever they little they draw when they're not on now i did just notice when i walked in um i didn't realize the aldi electric system was on which means it's been heating water this whole time so with the aldi heater on um for a water heater that's where we're at after 48 hours so let's go another day and see where we're at um so let's go ahead and take a look here and you can see we're at about 56% and 11.9 um, volts there. So this is 72 hours in. We are actually 73 hours in because it's a little after six now. Um, so we went three days with the refrigerator on um, and then all of the normal minimal draw and um, also the Aldi water heater has been on this whole time. So, um, I would say that we have over 50% three days in this refrigerator is ridiculously energy efficient, which they had told us. That's why new camp went with this two way that is shore power and battery, because it's supposed to be much more efficient than the old three ways that ran off battery where people just complained it drained their batteries completely. So, um, 
let's go ahead and go one more day. I just want to see what happens, how much more draw comes off of it. So we're going to go one more day, and then we will um, wrap this up. And I think we're already seeing the results, but we'll just go one more day. So, and literally like this. And we're back. It's now been four full days, 96 hours. And let's go ahead and check our reading for today. Looks like 38% and 11.4, 11.5 volts. So there you go, four full days and we still have 38% battery left. Now remember, we were running our refrigerator on battery. We also had the normal draw from things like the TV and the, the radio here in the trailer and, and anything else. And then the Aldi water heater was also on during that time. Now, if we really were camping, obviously we'd be using lights and the water pump and things like that. So by four days, we'd be lower than 38%. However, we carry with us a 100 watt Renogy suitcase style solar panel. So hopefully we're never going to see that battery that low over a four day period because during the day when we're out, hopefully the sun will be putting charge right back into our battery. So now we know that the new two-way uh, refrigerator from Norcold really is energy efficient when it comes to running off of battery power. Uh, do you ever run your refrigerator off battery power? If so, let me know how your battery or your battery holds out when you're running your refrigerator that away. And if you have any questions or comments, also drop those down below. So that'll conclude our test for this refrigerator in the Tab 400. Until next time, everybody. We'll see you on down the road. Good night.